Conservatives like Sean Hannity are trying to figure out how they can rein in Donald Trump and his constant drumbeat of support for Vladimir Putin, especially after he's invaded Ukraine. And everyone across the world has pretty much pointed out that's a bad thing. Well, Hannity tried to coach Trump throughout this entire interview to just say, you don't like Putin, he's a bad guy, right? Please, Donnie, watch. Um, I've known you well over 25 years. And uh, when you got criticized for saying that Vladimir Putin is smart, um, we've had many conversations. Um, and you've often quoted to me Sun Tzu, the art of war. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Is that how you viewed Vladimir? Did you view Vladimir Putin and people like President Xi and Kim Jong Un and the Iranian mullahs as enemies that you needed to keep close? I got along with these people. I got along with them well. That doesn't mean they're good people. It doesn't mean anything other than the fact that I understood them and perhaps they understood me. Maybe they understood me even better. That's okay. Wrong answer, wrong answer, Donnie, wrong answer. Hattie clearly said, so you were really tight and close with these dictatorial leaders, right? They're bad guys. But the reason you being a good guy was hanging with bad guys is because you wanted to keep your enemies close, right? Oh Well, Sean, you know, I, I loved them, man. They're, they they love me and they understand me. We think the same way. We have the same leadership qualities, actually, Hannity. So uh, here's Hannity with a second uh, attempt to get him to say one, one negative thing about these guys. You came under some fire when you said that Vladimir Putin's very smart. I think I know you a little bit better than most people in the media. And uh, I think you also recognize he's evil, do you not? Well, I was referring to the fact that he said this is an independent nation talking about Ukraine. And I said, that's some said, this is before there was any attack, attack. He's calling it an independent nation. Now, a lot of things are changing. When you look, this doesn't seem to be the same Putin that I was dealing with. But I will tell you, he wouldn't have changed if I were dealing with him. He wouldn't have changed. Damn it, Donnie, you're supposed to say evil, bro. Not, well, the Putin that I know and love, when I looked into his eyes, he was the guy that would do nice things. This isn't the same person I knew. This isn't the guy that I had direct and comfortable conversations with, that I made sure the transcripts were ripped up and destroyed. That's not the same guy, yes? No, it's clearly not. It's clearly not the same guy who has like 20 years of an insane track record of all the terrible things that he's done. And even that's when he was president. That's not even yeah. considering the time when he was in the KGB, you know, and running a spy network. And I mean, and also it's from from the, one of the earlier clips that we were looking at. This is Trump. This is the guy who was also just telling us who's smart and who's dumb. You know, like that guy is the guy who I need to look to for commentary and other people's intellect and. It, it's all ridiculous, but I, I I feel for Sean Hannity really trying to throw him a bone. He's like, God, just just give me the sound bite, man. Like, just say the thing that I need. I'm setting it up so perfectly, and Trump still just couldn't make it happen or you didn't think, want to make it happen. Yeah, you would think maybe they had a, a pre-interview to conversation where he's like, Okay, Don, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clear you up from this whole controversy because yeah, we, like we're not 100%. able to continue to shill for you if you keep saying the opposite. Yeah, I mean, and also I, I don't want to give too much credit, but you know, some credit to Hannity for at least understanding that they need to shift the rhetoric away yeah. from whatever Trump's been saying because it really is dangerous. I mean, at this point, we are literally talking about war, you know, a war on a scale that we've never couldn't even imagine before. So, I mean, no I one mean, not no one, but many people didn't think it would happen. So now, of course, there's been mm -hmm. a lot of backtracking and changing mind. And fine, if you didn't think it was gonna happen, but you notice the reality now. Trump can't find that. At least Handy finds it. But mm -hmm. maybe you have to maybe stop following the guy who doesn't think. Yeah.